Good evening, everyone. I'm Igor Regaña, I'm a business development manager, manager for the society. Um, I'm going to be speaking today about the ammonia cracking for high purity hydrogen production. Uh, before going into the story of the company and also the, uh, the cool things that we do on ammonia cracking, I'm going to explain to you what we do in this, in this picture. What you see there as the, are the palladium alloy membranes. Palladium alloy membranes are hollow tubes with a very thin coating of palladium. And the palladium coating basically gives the membranes the very cool feature of uh, the capacity of uh, separating very high purity hydrogen from gas blends. Huh? Well, I will explain to you a little bit later how we use these membranes to crack ammonia. Huh? First off, a few words about the history of the company. Exocide comes as a result of more than 10 years of research effort between Tecnalia, the largest private research center in Spain, and also the Technical University of Andoven in the Netherlands. The two of them worked together developing what we call the integrated membrane reactor. Uh, in 2020, the company was founded. Uh, NG became our lead investor for the time being, although in 2022, we closed a Series A, Series a investment round with uh, Breakthrough NG Ventures as the lead investor, uh, Bill Gates Venture Capital on, on CleanTech. Equinor and also NG, yeah? again, they're, they're with us since 2020 and they help us a lot. Uh, gaining a strong commercial traction. Uh, when I joined the company in 2021, we were, I was the fifth to be uh, joining the company. But right now we are 45 people. Uh, we're doing a lot of projects I will explain a little bit later. We are located in, in Bilbao. Yeah? So we believe that ammonia is a well-poised uh, hydrogen carrier to transport large amounts of renewable hydrogen from overseas. Yeah? Um, so, that is probably the best way to transport hydrogen as opposed to um, yeah, the, the molecule of hydrogen. You have to either compress it by, uh, to 750 bar or you have to liquefy it by cooling it down to minus 250 degrees Celsius. And there is really energy consuming. You know? So what you see on the left hand side is a picture of a membrane bundle. That's uh, the membranes that we put in a pressurized vessel with a catalyst uh, and so uh, we use this technology for two different things. On the one hand, we can separate hydrogen from gas blends. If we don't put a catalyst inside the reactor, um, we basically separate hydrogen from, from gas blends. The only thing that permeates to the interior of the membrane is just uh, pure and simple hydrogen. Whereas if, put, if we put a catalyst there uh, and the membranes go embedded into the catalyst, we can carry out chemi chemical reactions. And in the very same place where we are carrying out chemical reactions, we are separating hydrogen, and that has some, some benefit I will explain later. So if we focus on hydrogen separation, uh, we have a number of applications for, for this technology. Uh, we call this, for instance, a gas network management systems for salt caverns, aquifers, the blending. But they can, this can also be applied for the emerging uh, market of natural hydrogen. That is a hydrogen that is underground. Huh? This is the only technology that can deal with blends of helium and hydrogen. Uh, that is a very remarkable future. Um, whereas uh, for reactors, meaning uh, putting a, a catalyst inside the pressurized vessel, we can do the ammonia cracking, but with the very same technology, a different catalyst, obviously, we can reform methanol as well. Uh, so once the process, we produce hydrogen from methanol. Or we can also produce hydrogen from, from syn gas that can, might come from, from uh, yeah, waste. Uh. So this is a slide is basically to explain uh, how it works. Huh? So if you see on the upper part of that picture, you see the chemical reaction of ammonia to produce hydrogen and nitrogen. But so by separating the hydrogen from the very same place where the chemical reaction occurs, as uh, basically means that we're breaking the equilibrium of the chemical reaction. So that basically eases the decomposition of additional ammonia. Huh? So the traditional approach for ammonia cracking basically entails one step in which uh, ammonia is cracked and uh, downstream in a separate stage, uh, probably with a PSA, uh, you know, other technology suppliers, they separate the hydrogen. So the ammonia cracking occurs typically between 8 and 900 degrees Celsius, but we crack ammonia temperatures between 400 and 450 degrees Celsius, which is key. Uh, if you think about the levelized, of, the levelized cost of hydrogen that comes from the ammonia cracking, 80% uh, of that comes from the cost of ammonia, from, from the amount of ammonia that you're spending. With this technology, uh, this is the best in class uh, technology in terms of ammonia consumption to produce each kilogram of, of hydrogen. Huh? 
In one step process, you produce also high purity hydrogen, meaning hydrogen that is suitable for uh, pen fuel cell applications. Uh, um, you don't have moving parts for the hydrogen separation, which is a key advantage. You don't, you, you save the burden of, uh, you know, uh, pressure in the compressing the the hydrogen as in a PSA. Uh, um, and we also have some IP behind the technology for uh, different concepts of technology as well. So we are scaling the technology right now. Uh, for instance, uh, a few weeks ago, we commissioned a system to produce 200 kilograms of hydrogen uh, from ammonia in UK. Uh, uh, we are also very close to signing deals, commercial projects, uh, between half a ton up to five tons of hydrogen per day. And in the near future, uh, in 12, 12 months from now, we want to also close deals for uh, projects in the range of 10 to 20 tons of hydrogen per day from, from ammonia for different applications. This is the technology that can be applied, for instance, for decentralized uh, hydrogen production, uh, meaning industrial companies that need hydrogen. Uh, you can deliver the ammonia to their facilities, and on site they can produce hydrogen from, from that. Uh, in the long run, by 2028, we want to be ready to deploy the systems for very large ammonia crackers at locations such as the port of Rotterdam, the port of Antwerp Bridges, etc. But this also has been already deployed in a, on a boat. We put a, an ammonia cracker on a boat that is feeding uh, a fuel cell, and the fuel cell is uh, feeding the electrical systems of, of the boat. Uh, there's a picture there, but if you go to uh, yeah, LinkedIn, uh, sorry, to YouTube, you will you will to find a, a video of that. So far, in terms of the milestones we accomplished so far, um, so we have been able to sign commercial contracts. We've done uh, first-of-a-kind projects for different applications, such as onboard cracking, separation, and also for ammonia cracking. And we have uh, industrialized, we are the first company that has ever industrialized the manufacturing of palladium alloy membranes. Huh? So right now we have uh, done projects in UK, uh, France, uh, in, in, in Spain, different locations for different applications. It's not shown there, but uh, we also have projects in, in Italy as well. Huh? Uh, so I'm not sure I will be able to, um, to play the video. Yeah. No, uh, it, it's not working, but that is a link to um, a YouTube video where you can see the, you know, the, the ammonia cracking on a boat. Uh, we're very excited about the, the potential of this technology uh, to be used in different ways. You know, you can blend the hydrogen. Uh, you can blend the, oh, okay. Oh, that's the video. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Well, you see the, the ammonia cracker. That includes also a fuel cell. Eh? So it's a fit in the boat. We are super excited about the potential of this technology, as I said. And this technology can be used for, for instance, for hybrid, uh, hybrid solutions for, for vessels, for instance, systems that can operate on, on diesel, but also with a blend of ammonia with hydrogen, a small ammonia cracker. Uh, can produce hydrogen to be blended with uh, the, the ammonia so that the flame speed changes and it can basically behave pretty much like the, uh, the diesel. Huh? But at the same time, uh, this technology will be deployed in the long run uh, for fully electrified uh, propulsion systems of vessels. Uh, uh, the approval in principle was granted for this application also by Lois Register. And the small, a small picture of the, yeah, the project Amogen in UK, that's the uh, ammonia cracker that I mentioned. It's uh, capable of producing 200 kilograms of hydrogen per day. Anyone interested to come over and visit the unit in, in, in Birmingham, uh, uh, talk to me and we can schedule a, a visit to, to the project site. Eh? It's a uh, beyond the PowerPoint presentation. Uh, it's nothing like seeing uh, a real development. And that's all. Thank you very much for your attention. Um, Happy to address any question after the speech. Thank you.